Ooh, it's a lovely sunny day. Hey everyone, it's a lovely sunny day. Welcome back to Dubious Engineering. We're going to engineer up hard apple cider. This is really easy. I've got here a four pack of Tesco's apple juice. Uh, this is from Concentrate, but it's 100% pure juice. Um, I have here a bag of Alcotec 48 Classic Turbo Yeast. And I also have here a bag of sugar. And this is Silver Spoon Caster Sugar. Then we have a Demijohn, which has been cleaned, disinfected beautifully, and a little bubbler and a cork. What we're gonna do is we're going to put probably about half a bag of sugar, these apple juices, some water in order to drop the concentration of the apple juice a little bit. And then we're gonna chuck in a couple of tablespoons of Alcotec yeast. And then we're gonna wait, wait about a week. As soon as it's stopped bubbling, then we're gonna decant it into some plastic bottles, some old Coke bottles with a little bit of sugar. And as soon as they're clear, we should have apple cider and we should be able to drink it. And that'll be the fun bit. It should be slightly carbonated so it won't be completely flat. Anyway, let's get on with it. Keep watching, see how we do. So here we are back with the cider. About a week down the road, an interesting thing has happened. It's stopped bubbling. There's still water in there. The CO2 just isn't flowing anymore. <laughs> it still looks a little bit like misty orange juice, but it's starting to clear up a little bit. Uh, about 20 degrees still in here. So a comfortable 20 degrees. And the rough cider is just starting to clear. Hopefully you can see it's just a little bit clear at the top here, still slightly hazy at the bottom. And actually if you lift up, and I'm gonna do this very carefully, if you lift up this jug, you'll see there's just a little bit of white at the bottom of it. That's clearly sediment. Uh, that's the yeast and various other things that have just gotten heavier and fallen to the bottom. The water trap has stopped bubbling. Um, there's absolutely no activity going on anymore there. Using a siphon, with uh, a filter on the bottom of it. This is, um, this is just basically like a little U-bend effectively. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop that in here. This is a one and a half litre bottle, another one and a half litre bottle, and a one litre bottle. So that's four and a half litres. Uh, we won't be um, pumping the sediment into those bottles. We'll make sure that the sediment stays in the bottom of this glass bottle. Before we start that, what I need to do is prime these bottles here. So in order to prime them, I'm just going to put, again, caster sugar. I'm just going to, whoop, there you go. Put one spoon of one small teaspoon, one small teaspoon of caster sugar. You put some of those, just a little bit. And then if there is a little bit of yeast left over in the cider, um, that will also convert to alcohol. But at the same time, it will add a little bit of carbon dioxide into these bottles because I want my cider to be ever so slightly lively. I want to unscrew the top and hear it go psh, and then drink it. Let's go ahead and decant some of this cider into those jars. Okay, carefully does it now. We don't want to disturb the sediment at the bottom too much. So we're just going to get that in there. There it is. And we can move that down. There we go. 
Right, I'll be right back. Here they are, and uh, need to just mix that, mix that sugar in. So over the next couple of days, I will just uh, give give these guys a little bit of a shake, and you'll feel them just start to pressurise ever so slightly. Three poles of white lightning to drink in the park on the swings and slides with our mates. <laughs> we should probably taste test what we've got. Um, it certainly smells right. Anyway, there's a little bit left in the bottom of this bottle here. I'm going to see if I can encourage it out and um, we'll pop it in a glass and have a little taste test. She's a wee bit misty but uh, and not cold enough. Certainly got that cider smell to it and um, smells like an apple fart. <laughs> but um, probably will get them after drinking too much of this stuff. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, that's good and strong, that's really good and strong, oh, this is going to be good, all right, well, let's uh, leave them out in the shed for five days, they should clear up even more, and then stick one in the fridge overnight, and see what happens when we drink it. <laughs> So it's time to test the cider. It still looks like sort of frothy pea. Um, there's no sediment at the bottom of the bottle. Uh, adding the priming sugar has not created any extra gas. I can tell that by squeezing the bottle. It's still quite flat. I didn't use a hydrometer to check where we are with the cider before I made it. So this is non-scientific. Now what I do have is one of these. It's a little breath alcohol um, meter. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just turn it on. Ah, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, stupidly, it tends to use the battery when it's in standby mode. So I just pop a little piece of paper in there to stop it from using its battery when it's in standby mode. Once 20 seconds is up, you then blow into the, into the tube on the front of it and it'll tell you what kind of alcohol content you have on your breath. I don't think it's very well calibrated, but it certainly gives you an indication as to how much alcohol you've got on your breath, if anything at all. So the plan ultimately is to drink all of this, run this test and see what it gives us. But before we do that, we need to check that this reads zero first. All right, we've got a green light and zero, zero, zero on the meter. These are the fun tests. Right, let's go ahead and pour ourselves. There's a little bit of pressure in there, not a lot. Let's go ahead and pour ourselves a pint of the good stuff. Well, first of all, taste test. Cheers and beers, everybody. Cheers and ciders. It's quite drinkable. It, it, it is. It's quite drinkable. Um, it tastes like cider. I haven't had anything to eat since... <laughs> it's working clearly. I've only had two mouthfuls. I haven't had anything to eat um, since lunchtime. Um, so, so running on a bit of an empty tummy. I mean, my tummy's not exactly a small tummy. Let's, um, let's fire up the meter again. And let's see, we're, uh, we're coming up to the, the half pint uh, mark. Clearly, you know, the, 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 the alcohol will be um, in and around your mouth and on your breath. So apparently you need to wait 30 minutes before you, before you test yourself. But it will be interesting just to see if we get something more than a green light and zero, zero, zero. It's definitely got something. So what it's doing now is it's analyzing. And what have we got? 0.58. That's actually quite, that's actually quite a high reading. Clearly the meter is, is, is showing when there's no alcohol present and the meter is showing when there's alcohol present. 
Um, but I don't believe we're going to get a particularly well calibrated reading as it stands at the moment. I'll go ahead, smash in the rest of that pint, um, and then we'll um, and then we'll wait 20 minutes, and and we'll see what the meter says. I'll be right back. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do the test. Okay, ah, let me show you where we get. Okay, 0.36, we've managed to blow a green. I'm pretty sure with two pints, we'll get to 0.72. Shall we see if we can squeeze two whole pints out of this plastic bowl? See you in another 20 minutes, I guess. Um, cool. It's got, it's got a, a, a gentle sort of punch to it, a gentle hit to it, which is clearly the alcohol. Does it taste like apple juice now? No, because apple juice is sweet. This doesn't taste sweet. It's got just a hint of sour to it. Right, right okay, it's flat. <laughs> it's flat. What I probably should have done, what I probably should have done, what I probably should have done is use a hydrometer and then I could have calculated how much alcohol was in here, couldn't I? Stupid idiot. How do you how do you how do you explain? I mean, this is the this is probably the hardest thing I think I've done on camera. Can I describe a cider to you? Eventually, I'm going to get there. It's flat, which isn't a bad thing, uh, because it goes down really easy when it's flat. I think if it was a bit lively, you you probably wouldn't want to drink it quite so quickly. And at the moment, I must admit, I'm actually and well, clearly I'm enjoying drinking it because I'm drinking it reasonably quickly. Um, it's just got an element of sour to it, very slightly, but not in an offensive way. I'll tell you this for nothing, I've stumbled across a good bit of fun here. This is clearly a good bit of fun. The uh, Demijohn jar was very kindly donated to me uh, by my very good friends Simon and Hayley. Thank you very much. Uh, the bubbler on the top, the, the, the gas trap was and the, and the cork was very kindly donated to me by my mate Pete. Thank you very much Pete, really appreciate it. And here we have cider that works. <laughs> smells like apple farts. It smells a bit like apple and it smells a bit like a, a, a mildly sour apple. Me, 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 me. Mildly sour apple. Um, <laughs> six to eight percent. I will say this has turned out through my calibrated tongue <laughs> and my not so calibrated brain at the moment. I would say this this is rocking out at about six to eight percent. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, absolute success. <laughs> um, two pints of beer that I that you know from 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 your local pub, unless it's like you know the strongest stuff on tap, won't have the same effect that this does. This is I've actually I've genuinely had to slow down a little bit. I think three pints of this, and I would be really quite quite good. Bong! <laughs> End result. We've made another one <laughs> because ultimately it works. It does exactly what it says on the tin. As long as nothing goes wrong with my internals tomorrow and I'm not spending an awful lot of time on the loo. Um, and if I am, trust me, I, I, I either won't publish this video or I will come back and tell you not to do this. Um, yeah, 
genuinely this 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 uh, this works really really well. So I was doing the math earlier. Five quid, five quid for five liters. Well, four and a half, let's say. So five quid for four and a half liters of cider. What does that mean? Well, one litre is approximately two pints. That's 50p a pint. And this stuff, for some people, this stuff is close to rocket fuel. It's stronger than beer. Okay, so here's the scale. Beer, this cider, wine, whiskey, etc etc <laughs> what's above whiskey <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but i'm not joking this absolutely puts a smile on your face <laughs> there's another brew on the go I, I had to it just made sense i've got a feeling this this could be a very good way forward so um i'm i'm one and three quarters of a pint in the meter is about to beep Oh yeah, we got a red light now. 0.64. So um so basically then <laughs> I haven't even I haven't even finished two pints. It's strong. There's no doubt in my mind. Um I, earlier I was guessing at in a region of six to eight, and it's borderline, borderline rocket fuel. It is magnificent. As always, thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget, give us a good old thumbs up. Have a wonderful week and weekend. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers and beers, people. Take care. Bye for now. Cheers and beers, people. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> oh, damn it.